BGP creates updates on a neighbor by neighbor basis. And if we have a lot more neighbors, that's going to require a lot more CPU resources on the part of our router. And if we do filtering, if we have something like an IP prefix list or a distribute list, and we apply that to several of our neighbors, that's going to increase the CPU demand even more. However, we might have a similar set of parameters configured for multiple neighbors. We might have the same IP prefix list configured for this neighbor and this neighbor and this other neighbor. And instead of using CPU resources to determine which routes we should be filtering from a neighbor or routes going to a neighbor, what if we said this select group of neighbors are all going to be using the same set of filters? And instead of using CPU resources on each individual neighbor, what if we group them together? That's what we can do with BGP. We can create something called a BGP peer group, and we can apply our filtering commands to the peer group as opposed to each individual neighbor. And then we can say that specific neighbors belong to this peer group, and that can, in a large scale network, dramatically reduce the CPU demand on a router. Let's demonstrate it with this topology. Here we've got router R2 connecting out to ISP1 and ISP2. And let's say that, even though this is not a large scale network, it will demonstrate the concept. Let's say that we want to make sure that we're not receiving private IP addresses from our ISPs, RFC 1918 addresses, because those networks are not supposed to be routed over the internet. That might be a security concern if we started receiving advertisements for the 10 dot network as an example. And I've already got an IP prefix list configured to filter out RFC 1918 addresses. Let me show it to you. Let's do a show IP prefix hyphen list, and there it is. And I could go into BGP router configuration mode and say for the neighbor of ISP1, I want to apply this prefix list in the incoming direction. For ISP2, I want to apply this prefix list in the incoming direction. However, since we have the same prefix list that's going to be applied to two different neighbors, we can simply group those neighbors into a BGP peer group. Here's how that works. Let's go into BGP router configuration mode. We'll say router BGP. It's autonomous system 65001. And here's how we define. Here's how we create a peer group. I'll say neighbor and I'll call the peer group route hyphen PG for peer group. And I'll say that this is a peer group. We just defined the route hyphen PG peer group. Now we can apply this prefix list to the peer group as opposed to applying the prefix list to specific neighbors. To do that, we'll say neighbor, and the neighbor is route hyphen PG, and we'll say prefix hyphen list, and we'll apply the prefix list of, I called it route demo, and we'll apply that in the inbound direction. We're not wanting to learn RFC 1918 addresses from our neighbors. And we'll enter that. Now I've applied this filtering rule, the IP prefix list, to the peer group. However, as of right now, nobody belongs to the peer group. Now let's go in and say that ISP1 belongs to the peer group and ISP2 belongs to the peer group. Here's how we do that. We'll say neighbor, and I'll give the IP address for ISP1, 198.51.100.2, and I'll say it belongs to peer group route hyphen PG. Let's do the same thing for 198.51.100.6. And you see confirmation on screen that these neighbors have been added to the peer group. Now, when BGP goes through its calculations about what routes to permit and what routes to filter as advertisements are coming in, now we don't have to do it for each individual neighbor. We can just do it one time because these neighbors belong to the same peer group.